Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I am your host, KC Phoenix. This is the Quick 3 Tarot for Wednesday, March the 15th. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. The card at the bottom of the deck when I pulled it, and this is Nephritim, and it is Renewal and Rebirth. I'm using my Osset Egyptian Oracle cards instead of tarot decks, but this was at the bottom of the deck. So Renewal and Rebirth. So some of you might be going through a Renewal and Rebirth where you're getting back in touch with yourself is what you're doing. Now, other things did come out during the pre-shuffle when I was doing that. I feel like for some of you, you're in that creative stage. At the same time, others of you are afraid to let your creativity show due to um, some type of fear or something like that. Protection came out in the pre-shuffle. So in not too long ago in one of the readings, whether it was the... Um, one of the other collectives, the regular collective, or the Quick 3 Tarot Collective, protection was brought up as well. So it, it's out again. Let me go ahead and go into this and see what we get. May I have the energy for the collective for Wednesday, March the 15th. I was literally about to say April the 15th. Keep April the 15th in mind. There may be something significant that day. May I have the energy... For the collective, for March the 15th. May I have the energy for the collective for Wednesday, March the 15th. What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Bottom of the deck, Bast, joy and pleasure, joy and pleasure. So some of you might be tapping into your sensuality as well. Also, something I just heard too, some of you might be getting creative in the, in the bedroom. So just keep that in mind as well. Doesn't have to be that, but that's something that I heard. So yeah, joy and pleasure is one of the things. Okay, I'm not, that didn't come out like I wanted it to, but this is interesting. I'm noticing, I'm gonna put both of these back in, but I'm noticing these two cards are right near each other and they're both urns. So one is MSAT and is saying air spirit. And then the other one is happy, which is saying water spirit. There may be something going on between a water sign and an air sign. Or you just may be embodying that energy. Which air can be about creativity too, just like water can be, because air is about thoughts and communication. Letting things flow. Some of you, you need some alone time. And not necessarily in the sense of, oh, me time. In the sense of no distractions. Some of you need a, uh, an environment where you don't have any distractions. And I'm not saying it has to be, you know, for days and days and days. I'm just talking about a place you can go to where you know if you stay in that place for like 30 minutes, no one will bother you. I feel that if you do that, if you just turn off the distractions like once a day, maybe for 30 minutes or so, you're going to have some type of breakthrough creatively. But I feel you have to eliminate distractions. I'm putting these back in the deck. I'm not counting these. But I just wanted to, because the way it was kind of putting them together, something told me to say something. All right. May I have three cards, please? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Okay, that came out, and I guess we're taking this too. All right, and I need one more card. What is it that the collective needs to hear? And see, this is, as I'm looking at this, this is confirming what I was talking about. May I have one more card, please, for the collective? Thank you. Bottom of the deck. And see, now we have the fire spirit. So, Quipsineth, I believe is how that is pronounced. And... 
this is the fire spirit. So we have the air spirit, the water spirit, and the fire spirit. There may be a fire sign involved, too. Which is kind of interesting. This is giving me vibes from one of the other readings where, like, the Knight of Swords came out, the Knight of Wands came out, and the Knight of Cups came out. And all we were missing was the Knight of Pentacles, and, and that was in the pre-shuffle. Then the Knight of Pentacles came out in the main reading. So it's like everything was there and that was the energy of you have everything you need. And that's kind of interesting because alchemy was one of the things that came out in the pre-shuffle. And if you think of the magician, they have everything that they need. They have the pinnacles, they have the swords, they have the wands, they have the cups. So with this, I feel with all of these elements here with fire, water and air, only thing we're missing is earth. That, that's kind of funny that that's pinnacles is earth energy. So it's the same situation again where we have those three signs and then Earth is the only one missing. But I feel Earth is what's going to show up later on that energy. As for the cards that came out, the first one is crying. This is true futures. So in a way, um, I'm looking at this energy as planning things and also as receiving downloads and, and taking notes of the downloads that you receive. As you're planning your future. Now what I was talking about before. About getting to a place where no one bothers you. This right here. This, the Sphinx. And if you notice it says silent wisdom. And if you see this around the Sphinx's head. Getting the thoughts. This is what I feel is the confirmation of what I'm talking about. I feel if you can turn off the distractions for a short period of time. In those moments, whether it's 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever works best for you. In those moments, you will receive some type of breakthrough that will help you creatively. It doesn't necessarily have to be creatively because it can be a breakthrough in something else. But for the most part, I feel this is some type of breakthrough that will help you. Some type of knowledge that you will receive if you can block out all of the distractions for a temporary period. And then you can take notes of whatever information you receive, whatever ideas come out in that silence, whatever wisdom comes to you in that silence. And in that silence, it won't be just you. You'll have a guide is what you will have. And again, protector is here. Guide and protector. Rem remember, protection came out in the pre-shuffle. So this is emph emphasizing that again, saying protector. Anubis, guide and protector. So you have energies around you, guiding you and protecting you throughout this process. I just feel in order to tap into those energies, you have to find a place where there aren't any distractions. So you can get the information and it will come to you silently when, when there is silence. All right, so that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Thank you for supporting. If, you, if this resonated, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be blessed.